Hi everybody, and welcome back. City Skylines. It's been a while, I'll be honest. I haven't played in um, about a week, which is a surprisingly long amount of time for such a brilliant game. But anyway, let's get back into it. So we're back in Jumbalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalab
I'll maybe stretch the road out like that and then down like that. We don't want too many intersections here either. It could get a bit um, less than ideal traffic wise. Um, and then to make it look a bit more natural, add a bit of life to this wretched garbageville, we'll stretch a road down, maybe just down and around actually. It's like hideous looking, but once once we get houses in I think it'll be fine. And then we'll connect it up like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's a thing. Um, then we'll bring a road down and we'll maybe flank this highway. No, actually we won't. We'll bring it down one more and then across. <laughs> Jesus. And then, yeah, and then we'll have some little, this will just be like a quiet little part of town. We'll have some dead end roads like that. All right, great. I'm happy. Are you happy? Let me know how unhappy you are, and we'll see if we can come up with a better solution. But for the time being, I'm happy. So, let's pave paradise and put up a parking lot in here, and across the road too. And I like to try and keep the commercial in one spot, but I think that these guys need like a, like a takeaway shop and a service station, probably. Um, but more importantly, <laughs> power and water would be a, a better start, probably. Oh, look, you already have water. Stop your jabbering. Jeez. Alright, what about these guys? They're gonna need some jumbo lopo 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 -less, Um, <laughs> water works in there as well. Alright, brilliant. Brilliant. And so now... We've got the neighborhood shops, we've got a big bite, uh, some kind of like second-hand clothing shop. Um, oh, and look, a nice little Go Nuts Donuts. <laughs> I love the disabled parking. I don't know whether everyone's noticed or not, but it really just makes no sense at all. Like, it should be by the door. Maybe you could make an argument for one being there if they wanted to, like, go next door, but this one? Like, what is this park even doing? I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> let's put up uh, an actual park. It, whoa, not that one. Not that one. Maybe a plaza? No? Is nothing going to fit here? Is it just too small? Oh, we'd have to demolish. <laughs> I don't want to demolish that place to put in a park. Oh, look, we'll get, like, a, a Japanese Zen garden next door. There you go. Now that disabled park is not totally useless. Then I'll put in a little dirt path there because what better kind of path to ride on when you're in a wheelchair than a dirt path. Um, and we'll put like some palm trees because nothing says Japanese Zen Garden like palm trees apparently. Okay. Great. Oh jeez Louise. Right. No, I'm I'm quite happy with this though actually. I'm I'm very happy with that. What a nice little suburb this is going to be. It'll probably connect up to Garbageville one day, but for the time being, let's make it a separate place. I'm going to um highlight a new district. We'll make it border um all the rest of them. We'll make the borders touching. Um, and we'll give them like a bit of space down here for growth too, I reckon. And um, why not? We'll give them the <laughs> we'll give them the bane of having the sewage pipe under their jurisdiction. King Park. It's not ideal name. Um, let's call it New Trashville. There's not an old Trashville, but. I mean, I don't know whether the garbage themes are that great, but whatever, we'll go with it. Because it's just a low-density place, it's probably not going to get very big. We don't really give uh, any shits about it, to be honest. So, it's fine. We'll go with that. Uh, some messy zoning around here. Jeez. 
residential demand isn't huge because commercial demand is quite large. Um, I, I don't like the commercial sectors to be too big, so I'm going to probably actually just build another little one down here like this. Um, it will be very small, but the idea is that it doesn't get too congested because it's not too big, basically. Um, in the future, we'll probably have to... This is really beautiful. It's like a, like a square butterfly. Um, in the future, we'll probably have to build larger ones just to keep up with the demand. But for the time being, I'm happy to just build these little commercial sectors. Um, another thing before we zone it, <laughs> we'll give it water. And power. And also, I was thinking it might be a clever idea to um, set up a little connection here from industry to um, the commercial zone. Like there is here, we have this tunnel that they can sneak out into. I think we need another one over here. So, oh, this place is a real mess. You got like this road, <laughs> which comes out here for no apparent reason. Um, probably a tunnel on this side and then it comes up yeah okay this is gonna be a little bit crazy but watch this alright so we bring it around we're gonna want a curvy road because it's gonna be insane we're gonna bring it out like this and then around like this and then down under the ground and then through here and then, oh man, I love this. And then up, like, like this. And then around. And then we'll connect it up to here as well. And then we simply, we'll probably um, curve it up to like there, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. It, so that's just like a quiet little back road. You can get to it from inside of this area. And then whoop through. And then also out this side as well. So hopefully what we should see is that the industrial traffic, instead of using this road, which is going to get real busy real soon, um, will sneak through, sneak through the back there like that. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All right. Now I'm going to zone commercial in here and it in probably like two little pockets like this to start with and um, wow our residential demand has just shot up again um and we've got water issues too <laughs> oh man the fun never stops okay so to start with we'll plop down another water pump a bit as our power failing us as well probably um we're also going to need horrendously another uh, outflow pipe like that great <laughs> these guys are just having the time of their life um healthcare is pretty dismal if i'm honest uh but we've, we're rolling in the deep absolutely so let's get you a medical center and we'll pop a cemetery out there for them as well i think um fire coverage is just just horrendous just absolutely horrendous. Look at this. They've got a fire station right there, but it just isn't doing anything. So, we'll put another one in, um, maybe in here, actually, is probably a better idea. Did that help? Maybe? It really didn't. Look at, look at how hazardous that is. We're going to have huge fire issues in here. Is it the traffic? No, it's because it's oil industry. Yeah, oil industry is incredibly taxing on fire services. Um, if I try put one in the middle, maybe. Oh my god. Seriously? Um, okay. Policies, right. Um, we'll get smoke detector distribution. Does that distribute to... Um, factories? Hopefully. Um, we could issue a smoking ban. I don't think it actually helps with fires, though. Everything else is probably okay. 
Uh, we'll do Parks and Recreation boost as well. Hopefully, that just put us in the hole in a big way. <laughs> Lost like $3,000 an hour. Um, and I think actually that they're having three fire stations here is just ridiculous. Once they start getting smoke detectors and stuff, they'll be fine. Trashville needs... New Trashville needs one. Um, so we'll pop it down there instead. Give health and fire services to the people. Woohoo! Um, police station, really not necessary. <laughs> There's no crime in this game. Um, I did want to check the park overlay real quick as well. Um, Trashville has got one park. It might want another one though. <laughs> right on top of this house that's being upgraded. No, I'll pop it over there. Um, and we'll get like a... <coughs> Sorry, house. <laughs> we'll get a path through there. And... What I'll do is I'll connect this path as well. In a real crazy fashion. Nope, I want this one. Um, like this, and then like this, and then through like that. So that these guys can... Whoa. Build, build, what? <laughs> what? Flank some trees around it. Put some bushes in there too. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> and this person... Oh, right. Okay, so they are actually attached to the road. Wow, okay, fine. You can stay. For your dedication to the cause, you can stay. Um, we will now just quickly, before we finish up today's episode, put some... Whoa, jeez. Put some... Uh, landfill usage is at 100%. Lucky I noticed that. We get another... Um, what are they called? Complete my make. Get another landfill site there. Trash heap, in other words. Um, and then we'll want to expand. We'll probably expand New Trashville, I guess. I think I will put a long flanking road there. And then connect that up like that. And then get some more of these little teeth coming off. Like so. And then that's brilliant because then we can just cram a whole bunch more new trash villains into into the city. Woohoo! Awesome. Um Right. A little bit more water. Power is barely acceptable. But, but we'll fix that next time. So next time, we'll tackle the big issues. We'll tackle power. We'll tackle trash. We'll tackle public transport for crying out loud. These people need buses right now. <laughs> and we may have to have a look at some traffic issues. Maybe. I really don't want to. We'll just look the other way. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time.